Good evening. This is the evening prayer for the third Sunday in Ordinary Time for Sunday, January 23rd, 2022. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord our God is a faithful God. Let us pray to Him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Abraham put his faith in the Lord, who credited it to him as an act of righteousness. From the book of Genesis, chapter 15, verse 6. My friends, faith and trust in God is such a difficult thing. We yearn for the stability that God brings, but at the same time we're so afraid to let go of our own will. This dictomy of fear and desire is a constant theme in our lives. Because of this, faith is not the refuge of the weak-minded, but the domain of the brave. The Israelites trusted in God when they heard the proclamation of Ezra the prophet, and had faith that God would fulfill his promises. We have an even greater prophet in Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, let us rest our faith on him and let him fulfill the deepest desires of our hearts. Let us pray. I trusted even when I said, I am sorely afflicted. And when I said in my alarm, no man can be trusted. How can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? The cup of salvation I will raise. I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill, because all his people, O oh, precious in the eyes of the Lord, in the death of his faithful. Your servant, Lord, your servant am I. You have loosened my bonds, a thanksgiving sacrifice I make. I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people, in the courts of the house of the Lord, in our midst, O oh, Jerusalem. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. If God so clothes the grass of the field, which grows today and is thrown into the oven tomorrow, will he not much more provide for you, O you of little faith? Do not worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of that. Sufficient for a day is its own evil. The Gospel of the Lord. Trust in the Lord your God, and you will be found firm. Trust in his prophets, and you will succeed. From the second book of Chronicles, chapter 20, verse 20. And now on this Sunday evening, my brothers and sisters, let us pray the canticle of Zechariah. Blessed be the God, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear. Holy and righteous is his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare the way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. And the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord has blessed us in his mercy. From the book of Joshua, chapter 17, verse 14. To the Lord of mercy we pray, on this evening our intercessions. The response is, Jesus, we trust in you. Jesus, we trust in you. Because of the goodness of your Father, Jesus, we trust in you. Because you came among us and experienced the trials of the world, Jesus, we trust in you. Because of the saving power of your gospel, Jesus, we trust in you. And now we offer to God our personal intentions, culled from the silence of our hearts.
Jesus, we trust in you. And now let us pray the Lord's Prayer, the Our Father, as Jesus himself has taught us. And we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. God our Father, you led the Israelites across the desert to a land of milk and honey. Lead us also, your people, to the land of everlasting joy, where we may behold your face forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Have a good night, everybody.